I used to enjoy and play with my friends at school almost all the time. Whether it was basketball, group work, or playing games during breaks, we would always have fun somehow. A few months later, I had just gotten the news that we were going to move into a new house. Just to let you know that we're moving to a new location. At first, my enrichment teacher was okay with it and asked about the new home. She was pretty excited for me until I announced that I was changing schools. Just one more week till the big day, then. Once you know it, the days have gone by smoothly and I have woken up from a deep slumber, thinking of all the people I will leave behind. As I dress up, I started remembering this is my final day before the move. I have started to think again about those people at school and how I might never see them ever again. Real photo of the events that occurred on October 31st of 2019, my last day. To their respects, I have censored their eyes to be unidentified. As my father drops me off at school, I see my bus friends in second grade. Since my last day was the 31st of October, we take a picture together in our costumes. I walk up to class, and close friends are patting my back and asking for usernames on the games we play to keep in contact. It was a sad moment, really. Why are we still here? Just to suffer. We're gonna miss you, man. Thanks for being a good cam to us. Yo, you're still gonna play Roblox? What's your number? As school begins, it feels really fast, as if time really flew at the speed of light. We did the Halloween performance, as well as the regular studies, and the school day was coming to a close. After that school day, I didn't go to any school for four days, until I moved into my new school on the 4th of November. At least I don't have to do homework anymore. TV all day! And I start my first day preparing for school. I notice my new home is much colder in the mornings, and walking to school made it feel even more colder.
I think to myself, I wonder what I learned there. When I head to my class, I meet my new teacher. When the first few days started, I first had negative impressions. No AC, smaller rooms, no carpet to sit on. But as those days progressed, I didn't care about those things anymore. I met my new peers, and they seemed nice. We had things to do, but for breaks I was able to socialize and ask questions. The day was coming to lunch, and these questions began. They asked things like, what was your first school, or do you like it better here? I was able to answer them all. However, the teacher wasn't very happy with us socializing during work. I love the diversity the school had to offer, and all of its people too. May its legacy live on. I shouldn't have judged the school about the cons, but looked at their community itself and how they try their best to educate others. I love the diversity the school had to offer and all of its people too. May its legacy live on. I shouldn't have- I love the diversity the school had to offer, and all of its people too. May its legacy live on. I shouldn't have judged the school about the cons, but looked at their community itself, and how they try their best to educate others. And now, because of that, I could play basketball again, do group work, and play games on the Chromebooks in the library. Glad you could make it to the end. Thank you for watching or listening to my personal narrative. This has probably been one of the best experiences ever. So thank you for giving me that Mr. Y. I haven't done one of these in a long while, so sorry if it's a little weird or if there's enough silliness. It's probably my style or how I haven't done it in a while, but thank you. It's been fun. So uh, yeah, I'll see you later.